it's another great day to bring you all the updates in the world of sports. Let's start with the Black Stars and they will depart of Kora for Johannesburg today for the match day five Africa Cup of Nations qualify against South Africa. 20 players are currently in camp in Accra with six others expected to join the squad. Babara Man, Mohamed Kudus, Osman Bukhari, Nicolas Opoku, Emmanuel Lomote and Kwesi Ochiri Reds teamed up with the rest of the squad last night. The IU brothers and midfielder Thomas Partey, who will not be part of the contingent to South Africa, will join the squad later for the final game against Sao Tome and Principe. In other news, Richard Ofori is out of the Ghana squad to face South Africa because of his injury. And in the 15th minute in the Akaf Confederations Cup game against ESF, he suffered that injury and he will be missing the game in that fixture. Now, Dreams FC coach Vladislav Veric has been announced as a NASCO coach of the month for February. Veric led a still believe last to three home wins and an away with one defeat, same as Samo Buedu during his time at Mediama in February. Veric, however, pipped the former Mediama coach to the award with his side scoring a goal of 13, with Mediama scoring seven out of the last month in the goals in the Ghana Premier League. So long Dreams FC and Joseph Esso has been named as NASCO Player of the Month. The player has been doing very well during the league for Legon City's Alton of um, Great Olympics uh, player Michael Yabois and also Hans Kofi of Legon City's. We've seen uh, uh, his perform performances during the week and during the team and now now given him a chance to qualify to be in the Black Stars to play in the Afcon qualifiers. The testing of players and technical staff and officials of Premier League clubs for the second round of the league will take place this week. All 18 Premier League clubs are advised to cooperate with the GFA and the government for COVID-19 task force for this exercise and the quest to follow the COVID-19 protocols judiciously. The GFA and the government COVID-19 task force was to ensure the football is played in the safest possible way. Let's go to the English Premier League now. And Andy Robertson admits Liverpool's title defence has been good enough, but is hopeful that he can turn a corner to the league progress in the Champions League and make the top four. Liverpool have won four times in the Premier League since Christmas to leave them with what manager Jurgen Klopp called an almost impossible battle to qualify for next season's Champions League. Former Liverpool defender Dian Lovren is used to sporting contests lasting 90 minutes, but his latest ended within just 50 seconds. Lovren, who now plays for Zenit St. Petersburg, stepped into the octagon with Croatian former UFC fighter Mirko Filipovic. Lovren posted a video on his Instagram over the weekend thanking Filipovic for a short training session. AC Milan striker Zlatan Ibrahimovic shed a few tears of pride as he returned to the Swedish national team after a four-year absence for their World Cup qualifiers and he recounted how his son did not want him to leave home to join with Jamie Anderson's squad. The 39-year-old choked up when he was asked what his boys thought of his decision to answer his country's call again and return to the world stage. Let's switch gears now to the NBA and the Los Angeles Clippers reserves a start last night as they inspired a comeback from 22 points down to snap Atlanta Hawks' win and run. Led by their second unit, the Clippers battled back in the second half to earn a 119-110 victory over the visiting Hawks. Drew Holiday recorded season highs of 28 points and 14 assists as the Milwaukee Bucks extended their season best winning streaks after beating the Hawks for 140 to 113 triumph over the Indiana Pacers. Well, Jack will bring you more, but unfortunately, that's where we end MX Break Sports. I am Solon Saki. Keep watching MX24.